Hello again. Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. I'm feeling really good today. How are you feeling? Really good too? Did you eat some breakfast? Yeah? Did you chew it up with your teeth again? Do you think it's all the way in your stomach now? Yeah? Good. So yesterday was what day? Was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. That's right. And yesterday we had a special friend that was here. Who was that? Mr. Steve. That's right. And we drew a picture with Mr. Steve. Yesterday we drew a rose, right? Did you have fun with that? Yeah? Well, guess what? There's more videos with Mr. Steve on our YouTube channel for Learn and Play Montessori School. Okay, so you can go there, you can subscribe, you can see more drawing video and so many more teachers there too. Okay, so back to the calendar. Yesterday was Tuesday. That means today is what? Wednesday, that's right. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. That's right. We moved forward one day. It's the fifth. What month are we in? August, that's right. So today is Wednesday, August the 5th, 2020. Fantastic. Let's take a look at some math worksheets. Okay, we're gonna do some addition today. You guys are really good at this. Some addition. Let's get a pencil and our worksheets. Let's take the worksheet that looks like this first with the pictures. Okay, let's put our name up top. What is your name? Good, did you write that up top? Fantastic, then we're ready to go. So this first equation we have here, we're adding drumsticks, right? Some chicken. Okay, so let's count how many are in the first box and then we'll see how many are in the second box. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight drumsticks over here. Eight plus one, two, three. So we need to know what is eight plus three. So we know this is eight over here. We can start counting eight, nine, 10, 11. And let's trace the circle around 11. Next, we have some books. It looks like a, a happy book. How many books do we have in this first part here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight plus six. What is that? Fourteen, fifteen, or sixteen? Well, we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, yeah, let's circle 14. Eight plus six is 14. Okay, and the next one I see a, a red gorilla. Let's count these red gorillas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on this one and over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Nine plus eight. What is nine plus eight? Well, let's see here. I know this is nine, so I can count nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah, 17. That's right, let's circle 17 here. Okay, and the last one, some eagles. Cool, let's count these eagles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 on this side, 12 eagles plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12 plus seven, is that gonna be 18, 19, or 20? Well, we remember this is 12 over here. So we can count 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. Great job. Sometimes it's fun to do math with these cute picture counters, right? Totally, totally. But we also have some of this math here without counters. Maybe instead of the big glass counters, we can use our fingers today. Sounds good? Okay, let's write our name up top. And then let's take a look at these numbers here. So eight plus zero is what? 80. Eight plus zero is what? Eight plus nothing, right? That's eight. Let's write an eight in that box. Now eight plus three. Eight plus three. So we can always start with, we know, Eight. So we're adding three on to eight. So we can start with eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight plus three is eleven. Let's write eleven there. Did you bring your fingers today? Okay, good. Now the next one is eight plus two. So we can say eight, nine, 10. Eight plus two is, yes, eight plus two is 10. We know a, not, a lot of other things equal 10, right? Like um, what is five plus five? 10, yeah, that's right. And let's see here, the next one is eight plus five. What is eight plus five? Well, we're adding five to eight. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Eight plus five is 13. Awesome. Now the next one is eight plus four. So we're adding one smaller number here, right? So what do you think eight plus four is gonna be? Eight plus five is 13. Eight plus four should be one less than that. What is eight plus four? Yeah, 12, let's double check. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, eight plus four is 12. Let's write 12. Okay, the next one is bigger. Eight plus eight. What is eight plus eight? Hmm. Well, we know we're gonna use two hands for this, right? So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16. Right, I have eight fingers out, I'm adding those to my eight. Eight plus eight is 16, yep. Eight plus eight is 16. Okay, good job. Let's jump over to our nines. Okay. The first one is nine plus four. Nine plus four. So we can start with nine and let's add four fingers. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nine plus four is, yeah, 13. Eight plus what number equals 13? Eight plus five equals 13. And nine plus four equals 13. Interesting. What about nine plus zero? Nine, exactly, no problem, nine. And nine plus three, can we use our fingers for that too? Yeah, we can start with nine, 10, 11. Yeah, 12, nine plus three is 12. Fantastic. And let's do one more over here, nine plus nine. So we're gonna need nine fingers, right? We start with nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've got nine fingers out. Nine plus nine is 18. That's right, let's write 18 here. Good job. And if we need help at home, we can use counters. You can use your crayons, some dried noodles, anything for counters, okay? All right, let's put our math worksheets away to the side and take a look at our ending sounds worksheet, okay? Let's write our name up top. And the date. And these directions say match the pictures with their ending sound. So not the beginning sound, the ending sound. Okay, so what is the first picture? Yeah, that's a leaf. That's right. Did you draw a leaf on your rose yesterday? You did? Awesome. So when you hear leaf, what is the ending sound? Leaf. F, f, f. Is it an N? F? S? P? What do you hear on leaf? An F. Yeah, leaf. The L is the beginning sound, right? The ending sound is F. Leaf. Let's draw a line from the Leaf to the F. Okay, the next picture is of a very cool sun. Now, are we looking for the beginning sound or the ending sound? Right, the ending sound. So what is the ending sound in sun? Sun. N. Is it going to be an S? No, that's the beginning sound. We want the ending sound. So it's a, an N. That's right. Let's draw a line from the sun to the N. Okay. Super. Let's look at the next one. This is a, that's a mop. That's a mop. That's for cleaning, right? Do you have a mop at your house? Yeah, for cleaning the floor, right? Mop. 
Mop has what? What is the ending sound there in mop? P -p -p mop. P -p -p Do you see it? You hear an S or a P, a T, a G? Mop. P -p -p a P. Yes, yes. You guys are getting really, really good at this. You know your sounds. That's wonderful. And here is a. A school bus. Yes, a bus. Who drives that bus? The bus driver. That's right. So when we say bus, what is the ending sound of bus? Bus. Do you hear a G? Oh, that's bug. A T? An S? Yeah, bus. That ends with the S. That's right. Let's draw a line from bus to the S. Okay. Let's finish the last two later. I have some objects. And can you tell me some... How about some... Beginning sounds. Yeah? Okay. What is this? A lemon. Yeah, this is a lemon. What is the beginning sound of lemon? L lemon. That's the L, right? Yeah. And can you also tell me the ending sound of lemon? Lemon. N, thank you. Starts with the L and ends with the N. Good job. What about this little friend here? What is that? A robot. Yeah, that's a robot. When we say robot, what is that beginning sound of robot? What's at the beginning? R robot. A T? Uh, I don't think so. R, 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 R. And what's the ending sound of robot? T, T, T. T. Yeah, that's where the T is. It's at the end of robot. Okay, let's do one more. Hmm. How about this? What is this? A car. That's right. This is a car. And what's the beginning sound in car? K -k car. A C. Yes. And the ending sound in car? R, R. R. Fantastic. That's right. Okay, you guys. I think we're ready for a song. You're feeling ready for a song? Okay, good. Follow me over here. Let's sing a song together. A really, really special song, right? Are you feeling special? Well, that's because you are special, right? So let's sing our I Am Special song. Ready? One, two, three. I am special. I am special. Look at me. You will see. Someone very special, someone very special, it is me, it is me. Isn't that nice? You guys want to sing it one more time? All together? Okay, let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. I am special, I am special, look at me, you will see. Someone very special, someone very special, it is me, it is me. That's so nice because we're all super special, right? Yes, yes, life is so good. Okay, let's take a look at our digestive system. And I have a picture I made for you so we can see 
some more of the parts of our digestive system. Today, we have a worksheet and we're going to put the parts of the digestive system in the right order. What comes first and what comes next? So we can see a lot of these parts on here on this board. So when we are eating our food, how do we, well, how do we get our food? Where does our food come from? The farm? Yeah, our food is grown on the farm, and then it goes to the, the grocery store, that's right, and then it goes home with you, and it gets prepared, and you, and you eat the food, that's right. How do you eat the food? You chew it up, that's right. So our food goes in our mouth, we chew it all up nice, and then we swallow it, and it has to go all the way down this tube to get to our stomachs. This is the esophagus. Can you say esophagus with me? Esophagus, good job, that's right. That's the tube that takes the food from our mouth all the way down to our stomachs, right? Yeah, and then after it goes down the esophagus, it goes into the into the stomach, that's right. And in our stomach, a lot of things are going on there. We've got some liquids in there that are gonna help break down all the juices and our stomach is a muscle. So it's gonna squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and make sure all of that food is broken down and mixed together. Amazing, right? And after our food goes in our stomach and gets broken down into smaller, smaller pieces, it's gonna go to the small intestine. The small intestine goes first. And after the food goes from the stomach into the small intestine, the orange here, it's gonna go all the way, wiggle, 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 all the way through there. And then it's gonna finally make its way to the large intestine and all the way out your body, right? So what happens first in our digestive system? What's the first part of our digestive system? Is it the small intestine? No, the food is not there yet. What's the first part? Not the stomach, food isn't there yet. The first part of our digestive system is our mouth, right? That's gonna be the first part. And now the second part is what? The esophagus, yes, the esophagus. That's right, on our worksheet, the esophagus is connected to the, to the stomach. That's right, so our food goes first in our mouth, second, down our esophagus and to our stomach. Now, what happens after the food is in our stomach? Well, it goes into our small intestine. That's right, it goes into our small intestine. And next, last, almost last. The large intestine, right? Yeah, so what comes first? The small intestine or the large intestine? Did you say small? Yes, the small intestine comes first. Fantastic. Now let's take a look at our worksheet, okay? And we are going to first write our names, okay? All right, I'm gonna put my name up top. And this says to cut and assemble the parts of the digestive system. Label and color the parts. I'm thinking, let's color these parts first. Think that's a fun idea? Okay, sounds good to me too. So, the first part I see looks like this. Do you recognize this? 
What has the long tube and then this at the end? The esophagus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, the esophagus and the stomach. So I'm going to make my esophagus uh, blue color. What color are you going to make yours? Well, that sounds nice. Alrighty. So our stomach, my stomach is blue and next I see the it's not the large intestine that is the small intestine that's the small intestine I remember I saw it as a orange small intestine on the picture so I'm gonna color this orange too but in real life, in our bodies, it is all a pinkish color. Okay, here's my orange small intestine. Okie dokie. And then I see here, this is what? Yeah, that's the mouth, right? And that's how we eat. That's how... That's the first step in our digestive system. We got to eat it and we got to chew it up with our teeth, right? And we taste with our, with our tongue, that's right. So we have the esophagus and the stomach. This is the small intestine, the mouth, and this is the the large intestine, that's right. That's right, so I'm gonna color my large intestine green. Why? I couldn't tell you, green is just a fun color. What color is your large intestine going to be? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is to cut all these pieces out all the names and the pictures. Okay, and I brought a piece of paper to glue it on. I hope my friends can find one of those too. If you don't have it right now, you can always pause Miss Kendra and grab it and come back. That's no problem at all. So I'm gonna cut out all of these pieces so we can think about what goes first and what goes next, and next, and then last. All right, so I've got my esophagus and my stomach ready to go. Do you have scissors too? You do? If you need help, what are we gonna do? Ask for help, that's right. So now I got my small intestine cut out and I need to cut the mouth out and then we're ready to put it in the correct order because we can't do a small intestine first and then goes to the mouth ay 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 definitely not so let's first assemble these pictures and then we will do the labeling. So do you have some glue also? Okay, well that's great because we're gonna need it. Let's look at these pictures and think about what goes first. So what do you remember goes first? The large intestine, small intestine, esophagus and stomach or the mouth? Yes, the mouth. That's right, let's put a mouth up top. The first one is the mouth. Now the second one, it goes from the mouth down the what? Yeah, the esophagus and then to the stomach. That's right. So let's put our esophagus and stomach next. 
goes right after the mouth. And then, where does it go? To the orange small intestine or the green large intestine here? Yeah, it goes to the small one first. That's right, it leaves the stomach. Your food will leave the stomach and go in your small intestine. And once it's in your small intestine, then your body can really start to soak up all the nutrients. That's what we want, right? We eat our food to get that nutrients. And last is the large intestine. That's right, let's paste our large intestine here. And then we're ready to do some labeling. Okay. Now let's cut out our labels. So just like we have four pictures, we have four labels. Sounds about right? Okay, let's keep cutting. Now some of these are really close to each other, right? So maybe we'll ask for help if you feel like you need it. If not, that's okay too, right? Sometimes we need help and sometimes we don't need help. Either way, as long as we're doing our best work, then we're good to go. So we remember the first one we see is the mouth. Okay, do you see that word over here? Boop, boop, boop. Ding, 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 ding. I see it too. Let's put the mouth there and we'll label it awesome and now what's next what is this the esophagus and the stomach do you see that label you do okay is it the top the middle or the bottom one the bottom that's right. Now, what's coming next? We got two choices here, the large intestine or the small intestine. What goes first? Yes, the small intestine. I'm really happy you are remembering this. That's fantastic. And we know now the last one is the large intestine. Super. Okay. Fantastic, we know what comes first and last in our digestive system. Okay, so hopefully today we eat a lot of healthy food and keep our digestive system really happy. That sounds pretty good? Definitely, let's do that, okay? See you tomorrow, everyone.